Welcome back to another product overview. We're starting out with another KG Optics department, the Jaeger. Now the Jaeger was designed to be center fire scope. We do have other options like the Rimfire Recon. However, it is more geared to Rimfire, which is smaller calibers. This one is the one that we built for larger center fire rifles. Now I'll let Ethan go ahead and take it out of the box, show you everything that's in it. And I'll show you a little bit about a gun I actually have it on right now, which is this is my 223, perfect caliber for the Jaeger. It's really good on the AR-15. Yeah, he had it on his AR, and I actually had it on this one, and we sided them in together, and they do some pretty good work. I'll on show you a little video. bit more about this here in a minute. We'll show you the features. Here it is. First thing you see, a cap cover. That's pretty standard with all of our scopes, but we'll go ahead and take that one off. Also in the box, we have scope rings. We'll show you those here in a second. Those are really important. A little silicone gel th thing, just so you know, they don't get... Uh, Moisture. Yeah. Then we have a silic, uh, what? A multi, what's it called? Microfiber. Microfiber, not a multi-fiber. I don't know what I'm saying. Then we obviously have the instructions that tell you how to sight in the scope and all the things you should know about it. Now taking a closer look at the KG Jaeger scope, we'll start off at the front with the parallax dial. Now a lot of scopes don't come with the parallax dial, but let me go ahead and tell you what it does. Have you ever been in a scenario where you're trying to shoot a target and your crosshairs is blurry against your background and you really can't see that? Well, that's because your parallax wasn't set right on the scope. This is basically like a focus for your crosshairs. So if you're shooting at 100 yards, you turn the parallax dial to 100 and your crosshairs should be, you know, focused pretty good. However, if you move on out to 300 yards, you'll want to move it on over to 300 yards. Now coming on to the back of the scope, we're going to look at the magnification. On the rimfire scopes, the magnification is 3 by 9 However, with this center fire rifle scopes, we decided we wanted a little bit pow more power. So we decided to go with 3 by 12 just to get you a little bit more magnification. This scope also features a mill dots. We'll try to get them in focus. They're real crisp, real mill dots too. There we go. Mill dots. They're... And they're not too big to where they're not accurate. They're small, they're crispy. That's really exactly what you need. That's an MOA scope at 100 yards. Absolutely. And now one big thing is the scope rings. We don't want to get we don't want to leave y'all without scope rings. We included these. These are seriously heavy duty scope rings, guys. Sporting four screws up top to hold on to the scope. And then down at the bottom, it has a big lug nut right there so that you can really get a hold of it and tighten it down exactly how it Easy needs to, to be. Easy to tighten down. Easy to tighten down. See, watch this. This is one of the biggest just, parts. Just come with it. Yeah. You stick it in, you get leverage on it. You can get leverage on it. You can tighten that down. It's not going anywhere. Since this is a cinder fire rifle scope, the rings are set for 20 millimeter bases or Picatinny rails. That is the standard for most center fire rifles. These things just really easy. Yeah, they do. They have special little knobs on them to make it so much easier to adjust. Let's show them that knob right there. You that right there so that you can use quarters, your fingers even, or just pliers if you want to do it really easy. But it's not like a little slit where you have to stick a penny down in. We'll get a real good look at those right there. We'll get a little pan down of the scope. Looking good, looking good. We'll come down this side. There Just we listen go. Listen at these though. Listen at it. Audible clicks. And then one more time, here it is mounted on my 223. Looks pretty good, not too high, not too low. Mounted on there, real steady. The scope ain't going nowhere. On the AR-15, Yeah. Uh, the standard rails that's on them, like a flat top receiver. If you're like me, like the last video I was talking about how, how like my rails, the scope almost sit against the rails. You can probably take your knife blade and run under it. That's about it. Cause it's a three by 12 by 40, right? 40 millimeter right here? Yeah. I mean, the scope rings are about 40 millimeters as well. So it is, it's perfect. You can't get any closer. You really can't. No. These are here is perfect. Especially if you're like me and like a lower profile on an AR. And that there concludes the KG Jaeger, which is perfect for all your center fire rifles and anything bigger than that which isn't much. It's a good little hunting scope. I mean, it's not too much. Comes in at a pretty good price range, but it's still plenty enough to get a good deer down. Perfect deer scope, in my opinion. I would compare that with a knock-on pro staff. I've used them both. Killed deer with a pro staff. I would own that. There it is. If you want it, first link in the description, kindlegray1.com slash shop. Pick it up, guys. Go have some fun with it. Kill you a deer or coyote. 